Okay. I was looking for videos that would uh, tell me how to repair one of these that is just not pumping up to pressure. About 60 pounds is what these switches are set at. The switches go out, and you can find them online. If that's the problem, it won't turn on at all. And you could pull this cap off, jump the wires, because <clears throat> they're not going to pump much over 60 anyway. But that could get you going. Or these switches are 20 bucks from Fimco. And I'll put that in the description. Uh, the other problem is it just, it'll pump like 20 pounds. It'll never get up to pressure and stop, you know, when you shut off your boom. And it's the same problem with every one of them. And this is, this is an older one I fixed. It's a high flow gold series. And then the other ones now are high performance. And I'll show you kind of how they come apart. I'm going to walk over here to my boneyard of these things. They're like 150 bucks. So I was buying one every year or two when I needed to spray. And like I said, I could find these pumps videos of the smaller ones, but not the 3.8 to 4.5. And, and this is that older one apart. The big difference is that collar. And I only had one of those bearings go out, but you can just read the numbers on this on the side. These are 6202Z. Maybe on Amazon, you get like a six pack. They're literally a dollar a piece. But this little bushing knocks out. These ones are harder to get apart because if the bearing's good, when you take off those screws, it'll spin, but not that, not this sh pump shaft. And those just don't go out, apparently. At least not on any of these. And you have to get it spun around, O-ring pick, or, you know, turn it around and get a hold of the screw. And you've got to get it turned around to this point right here. So you can loosen it up and pull that thing off. That's what's different with the other ones. They don't have that. They have more of a flat-sided shaft and a bushing that goes in there. So those ones pull right off if you've got this high flow, yeah, high flow style. Same thing though. That would knock out. I just knocked it out of that other one. I have this one already taken apart, but I can show you. These just screw down. That's where your bearing is. That'll knock right out of there, too. This one's good, so I didn't take it apart. Screws there. Those pull right out from there. And the problem with almost all of these is this piece right here. Let's see if I can set you down. Here we go. There's a little O-ring that goes in between those. You put it on the inside of this housing when you go back together. And three of the four, that was all that was wrong with them not pumping. The other one had a bad switch and a bad bearing. But that gets you going. Fimco makes both of them. You can get the O-rings, the seals from them. All this stuff's on there actually, but the bearings that was cheaper to get from Amazon because they wanted $29 for the whole housing. So hopefully that helps somebody fix some of their sprayers because I couldn't find it anywhere on YouTube.